Hey everyone, Arnold Wofferman, Master School Dances, here with another Copy Show tutorial video. So, in this full program that I'm doing, let's say we just bought two more of Vienno Color Beam LEDs. What happens, or how do we add that? I mean, we could have two of them under the same DMX channels. Let's say we actually want them on individual DMX channels. We're going to go ahead and click on our settings, and then patch. Now we're going to click on this one here, which basically says insert a scan or chosen scan library fixture. So we have to find the SSL that says Inno Color Beam LED 2. Now what I recommend is, as you're adding SSL 2 profiles or fixture profiles, put them in a, for, uh, a name with your or folder with your name on it. Because that way, as you're adding more fixtures, you'll accidentally add the wrong SSL2 profile. There are several, um, you know, there's several ones that may be the correct one, but you want them to have the same name because remember, we need to copy and paste. So let's go ahead. Whoops, I'm just scrolling here, not even paying attention. Let's find American DJ. And there is no Inno series, so we need to find the. Inno color beam, which is not on there at all. Well, oh, yes, it is. There it is. Look at that. I'm like completely blind. Inno color beam LED. And we're going to do mode two. You'll notice a mode two right there. So we're going to add one. We're going to add two. Do we want to update the auto generator buttons? Those are the switches that were made when you first did it? Yes, you want to do that. Click OK. Now you'll see those there. Now these don't show in here. These rainbow ones don't show on there. This is the only auto generator button that doesn't seem, actually it does, there it is. It, you'll notice how it automatically updates, so that's good. If you made any scenes and they don't update, Refer to the last video to show how to copy and paste. So it seems we're good there. Huh, fantastic. But let's say that you are very OCD, right? We have them in order. We have first one on 60, next one on 73, next one on 86, next one on 99, and then bam, 144. Now with DMX, it doesn't matter what the address is because it doesn't have to be in order. You know, this could be 144, this could be 5, this could be, you know, it, it doesn't matter. But let's say you like things in neat order. Just like we could import a page that we borrowed from a friend, you can easily reorder them. So doing, doing in the same way that you added the scan library fixture, we're going to go ahead and kind of name them, remove them. So we have our Inno Color Beam 1. Just going to go remove that. In no color beam. Whoops. And notice it does not let you um, put them on top where you accidentally are colliding DMX values. There we go. We do three. Now we're going to do four. And then five. And again, I like mine in order just because it's easier. You'll notice that these two new ones do not have a name on them. So all you got to do is just click it. And you're going to click here, the rename. Here and then we do six. We're gonna click OK, and it's gonna automatically repatch the DMX addresses. So even if you had scenes in here and such, it'll still automatically add it to the new address. And there it is: 144, 157, 170, 99, 196, 183. Well, let's see what happened there. We'll go back here. Aha! We'll see that that's kind of not correctly laid out. So again, we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. This almost makes it dummy proof so you don't accidentally screw something up. So 144, 157, 170, 183, 196, and 209. So there you go. Super easy. Hope that helped out. 
So again, my name is Ronaldo Offerman, Master of School Dances. Any questions or anything, don't forget to update your groups. Uh, any questions or anything, be sure to let me know. Thanks so much. God bless.